जय गुरु आज परम ब्रह्म श्री श्री ठाकुर अनुकूल चंद्र जी के वन थर्टी फोर्थ आविर्भाव दिवस है आज चलिए उनके कुछ शॉर्ट लाइफ स्टोरी पार्ट थ्री के बारे में आलोचना करेंगे कंटिन्यूड आज पार्ट थ्री ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड वेन ही स्टार्टेड द संकीर्तन मोमेंट हिज क्लोज एसोसिएट्स कॉल्ड हिम एज श्री श्री ठाकुर He was very upset when people started calling him by the above name and projected him as an incarnation. He said, "A Brahmin cook is called Thakur in Bengali. I think I am just that by calling Sri Ramakrishna as Thakur and Sri Chaitanya as incarnation. You are taunting them." After the trance period was over, Sri Sri Thakur left his home and lived in a hut near Padma River. His close associates, who became his disciples, lived with him. This place, in course of time, grew into a big ashram. While living there, he jotted down his thoughts for the guidance of a disciple, Atul Chandra. Atul Chandra was working in Pavna Steamer Station. When he was transferred to a Far off steamer station, he wanted advice from Sisi Thakur for his guidance. For his sake, Sisi Thakur jotted down certain principles and thoughts in a notebook, which was published as a booklet later with the name Satyanusaran. Although the literature of Sisi Thakur's view, all noted down by his secretaries from 1939, ran to more than 25,000 pages in print, Satyanusaran written in Bengali. is the only one written by sri thakur himself now it is translated into english and many other indian languages the ashram grew rapidly and hundreds of devotees turned up daily there was not enough money and the ashram attendants including sri thakur used to take one meal a day for quite some time a body known as Life Research Society was formed to carry out experiments for curing disease by the holy name. A patient would be tossed by three or two poor person as sitting around him and repeating the name. Many instances were recorded where patients going to die could recover from their illness by this method. On this, Sri Thakur clarified. Treating illness by uttering holy name has been done on many occasions. It cannot be effective if there is slightest doubt in you or in your immediate environment about its efficacy. A strong shower of vital force occurs if one repeats the holy name. Illness of any kind can be cured through an increased vital force. In 1919, when Sri Sri Thakur visited Calcutta, he could attract the attention of several renowned doctors, advocates, and people from cross sections of the society. Janakinath Bose and his wife, parents of Sablet Bose, became disciples of Sri Sri Thakur. Krishna Prasad Bhattacharya, PhD holder doing research on electric properties of flames, came to meet Sri Sri Thakur. at himayatpur and was instantly impressed by his affection and hospitality they took a winning strolls on the banks of padma krishna prasan would talk about his research work the latest discoveries of atoms electrons etc to his surprise sri sri thakur would listen with rapt attention and engage him with scholarly discussion krishna prasan would ask how do you know about electron and quanta he knew about sri sri thakur's education and qualification have you read about all this somewhere no sri sri thakur would reply from my childhood i sometimes see the universe all melting into a glow of ineffable light particles and the light condenses and condenses into the material objects surrounding me Slowly, Krishna Prasad could know that Sri Sri Thakur's vivid description of the ultimate nature of the physical world did not only tally with the latest scientific knowledge, but suggested new lines of research, which was original. 
Krishna Prasan left his research work and settled down with his family in the ashram of Sri Thakur for life. He started the World Science Center and various scientific experiments were carried on there under the guidance of Sri Thakur. In course of time, high schools for boys and girls, hospital and other job providing cottage industry units were started and were doing well. It became a center for human Solasi and attracted the attention of many eminent personalities of India of that period. Jai Guru, to be continued.